Hi, Marcus Coleman here from Seafish. Just want to update you with some of the work that we're doing at the moment. As you might expect, we're getting a lot of questions and queries about the UK's exit from the European Union. Um, we've put together a guide, the EU Exit Guide. You can find that on our website. We've tried there to pick up a lot of responses to the questions that you've got, and we're updating it all of the time. So in the event of a deal, or indeed in the event of a no deal, um, or a delay, we have got all the answers for you in terms of what it could mean to your businesses and what you need to be doing in, in each scenario. So do check that out. Um, we've also been looking recently at the challenge of getting young people into the seafood industry. Um, we've heard from our businesses that this is becoming more and more difficult, um, especially attracting young UK uh, people into the business. Um, we've done a bit of research work. We've done some focus groups in Aberdeen and in Hull and in Exeter. We've asked people what it is about the seafood industry that is turning them away. What is it that they're finding unattractive about the seafood industry? It's really interesting that they don't really know what we have to offer. And um, more importantly, when they find out the sort of range of careers that are available, they are then really interested and really engaged and want to know more. So it, it's quite clear that the, the, the industry, and, and Seafish can help with this, um, has got a lot more to do in terms of describing the opportunities available to young people and doing that in a way that engages them and excites them. So there's a report coming out on this fairly shortly, The World is Your Oyster. Uh, so look out for that and it will be available on our website too. Finally, it's that time of year when we do our stakeholder survey. We go out to stakeholders and ask you what you think about Seafish. This helps inform us, it helps improve the way we work. So please, please, if you get a call from one of our researchers or you get an invitation online to undertake the survey, do take a few minutes. It really does help us and I'll be really grateful for your time. Finally, don't forget the array of uh, newsletters that we have available to you. Um, you can click on those on our website and that keeps you right up to date, as I said, with EU exit things, but a whole range of other topics too, training, etc regulations it's all there for you so please do click away and uh, i'll be back next month with more from seafish